been evolved over the years, and, and I feel I've come a complete circle now, as you'll see. Um, so, thank you again, Reina and um, ACTA, particularly, and board members for inviting me out. I'd also like to acknowledge, take the time to acknowledge a couple of other people, who are my staff, uh, who are uh, spending their evening to uh, hear me speak, and I'm very thrilled to work with them, I really am, and I'm pleased to have them, and I'd like to acknowledge Miriam, my back office assistant, and Alex, my uh, patient work coordinator, uh, front office staff member, Tony Church, Alex, Miriam, stand up, say hi, give me a hand. How are you doing? So, thank you. Okay, yeah. um, so maybe there's no considerations. As you know, tonight we're talking particularly about that, that young part of the area that we work in daily, and uh, criteria for success in soft tissue gravity. Um, the outline's going to focus initially, the first half hour or so, uh, on a little bit of basic anatomy, just so that everybody's on the same page. We'll go over some gross anatomy, some basic essential dental alveolar anatomy, and be pretending to the environment that we're working in. Um, understand some of the literature, as some of you may know, uh, my practice and my philosophy is very much evidence-based, as will become apparent throughout the presentation. And, and, uh, and today, you know, and, and particularly in periodontics and maybe in dentistry in general, we're faced with a plethora of materials and products and decisions to be made daily on what to use and how to administer. And, and, I mean, it can get confusing. Um, and it is confusing, and everybody's got some exciting new material, it seems like, on a daily basis to, to, to you know, introduce to our, to our hands and our practices 